Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, received at Safriya Palace His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of RHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In the presence of Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Royal Court's Minister of Follow up Sheikh Ahmed bin Atiyat Allah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani. During during the meeting, His Majesty the King followed up with His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the efforts exerted by RHF in Lebanon based on His Majesty's directives to provide and deliver urgent humanitarian relief aid to Lebanon to help the brotherly Lebanese people in their ordeal as a result of the disaster that struck the Lebanese capital and commended what has been accomplished during this stage. His Majesty the King hailed the noble efforts of the RHF affirming that Bahrain's stance and support towers the Lebanese people reflects the brotherly relations between the two countries. His Majesty expressed his wishes for the brotherly people of Lebanon to overcome this ordeal and to enjoy security, peace, stability and prosperity, adding that Bahrain is home to the Lebanese community and expressed appreciation to their efforts and contributions in the fields of comprehensive development in Bahrain. His Majesty also affirmed that the Kingdom through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs follows up on the Arab regional and international efforts. In regards to the reconstruction of Lebanon. His Majesty praised the humanitarian role of the RHF, led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, in providing aid and support to the brotherly and friendly countries in such circumstances. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his noble and continuous humanitarian initiatives in helping the afflicted, which reflects the honorable stance of the kingdom towards people based on the fraternal ties between them. The first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed his keenness to launch initiatives that support and empower Bahraini youth in the society, adding that the initiative Your Talent at Home comes within His Highness's vision to continue launching such initiatives aimed at embracing and encouraging young people to unleash their capabilities and talents. His Highness noted that this initiative is derived from the reform project His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop the youth. He also added that the launch of the initiative goes in line with the distinguished efforts made by the Government Executive Committee, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to implement uh, projects that contribute to developing the youth and in line with the measures followed by the Committee to Combat COVID-19. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for supporting these initiatives. His Highness also expressed the keenness to always strive for the development of the Bahrain youth and prepare them to be an active element in various fields through launching various initiatives that encourage creativity and innovation. Within the framework of uh, the direct follow-up with the implementation of Ministerial Resolution 3 of the year 2013 regarding the ban on work at noon in July and August, the Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan conducted a field tour for a number of construction work sites. During the tour, the Minister Hamidan praised the commitment of companies and institutions to implement this decision and the measures they have taken to ensure a safe and secure work environment for workers and improve the efficiency and prevention methods to reduce occupational injuries, in addition to the efforts made in training first aid workers to prevent occupational accidents. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance the safety and health of all workers in various productive work sites, which made it among the leading countries in the field of manpower protection. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saida Saleh, met with an Emirati delegation that included Dr. Nawal al kabi from Sheikh Khalifa Medical City in Abu Dhabi and chairperson of the Clinical Management Committee for COVID-19, the director of research group in the UAE, Dr. Walid Zahar, and a visiting Chinese delegation led by the head of the biological department at the Sinopharm Pharmaceutical Company in the presence of the Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health, Dr. Maryam Al-Hajri, to review and discuss cooperation 
cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE through the G42 company regarding starting the introduction of the third phase of clinical trials for a vaccine for the coronavirus in Bahrain. The minister praised the distinguished cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE, especially in the field of research, exchange of experience and application of advanced technologies to conduct virus infection detection tests. The delegation praised Bahrain's equipment in this regard and expressed aspirations to achieve fruitful results during the third phase of clinical trials for a coronavirus vaccine in Bahrain. The centers of the General Directorate of Reformation and Rehabilitation continue to enhance and develop their practices and procedures that emulate uh, the human rights uh, system and the law of correction and rehabilitation institutions, especially within the framework of precautionary and preventative measures to combat uh, the coronavirus. All inmates of the General Directorate of Reformation and Rehabilitation enjoy their rights, including visitation, health care, and regular medical appointments at clinics inside and outside the centers, as well as the prescription of medicine. As part of its efforts to reinforce precautionary measures to limit the spread of coronavirus, the Directorate has decided to activate the online visitation services between inmates and their families to protect their safety. The Directorate of Reformation and Rehabilitation aims to provide comprehensive health care to all inmates and the rights stated in the Reformation and Rehabilitation Organization's law, as well as its regulations, including the right of telephone calls and visits. Due to the coronavirus, visits at the Reformation and Rehabilitation Center were suspended and visual calls were activated. In the last three months, 7,200 visual calls took place. The inmates get half an hour telephone call a week. All that to develop work and the directorate. We thank the Reformation and Reformation Directorate for giving us the opportunity to greet our family in Eid through visual and regular calls. We thank you for the excellent health care at the center. And we also have the freedom to perform religious rituals, and this is not something unusual for the Directorate. The Directorate was requested, and they joined the cells, for example, two cells in one, and about the visual call, the Directorate provided the service. Visual and regular calls. We thank the Directorate for this positive step. I will be asked to choose between visual calls or regular visits. I will choose the visual call. I thank the Directorate of Reformation and Rehabilitation of the Interior Ministry for the assistance it provides to inmates. And we are fortunate to have this Directorate. These services come as part of a comprehensive system of services and welfare in various areas to protect human rights and provide all facilities for inmates. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,919 with 273 recoveries, 322 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health announced the death of a 44-year-old male expatriate from COVID-19 and expressed its condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry also urged everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions and avoiding public spaces when possible. <laughs> 